Gloves. I haven't seen hospital gloves in a minute. Of course, you need a bowl. Don't look at the distressness of it. Remember, it's dye we use it for. You need a comb of the magenta and the red. And for the redo, we're going to add some region red from a door. And of course, I used Dirty Developer and you need Vaseline. So we're going to get started. I have to add some lights, as you can see in my mirror. Um, so. As you can see, I have a lot of growth. A lot of growth. Right? So now, and if you have noticed, that whenever you dye your hair, the roots always fade fast. But then the hair just trickle down to the end of your hair, right? So, we're going to do it like in the first video. I'm going to separate the hair in four parts. So, I'm just going to take out my braids. I can see the red on the end of my hair is dull, so we're gonna have to make that vibrant again. But for right now, we're gonna concentrate on chain on dyeing the roots and then worry about the ends later. But I'm gonna do the whole thing, so you'll see. As you can see, the color is fading. So, you your hair, you gotta comb it out. And then I'm gonna part it into four. So it's gonna be two and then two on the other side. It doesn't have to be the neatest part. use clips see all that is growth so we're gonna concentrate on dyeing this part first and then worry about this later and I'll show you what I do to the ends to make it more vibrant because right now the color is dull and as you can see there's two different red it's like a brighter red here but then a deeper red here and the deeper red was from the a door I'm trying to make the camera focus, but it's on my face for some reason. There you go. Okay, okay. Yeah. Raging red. But I'll show you guys how to do that later. So, off camera, I that. applied the Vaseline. As you can see, it's all glossy. Remember to put it around your ears, over, well, the parameters of your head, your forehead, the back of your head, so that whatever the dye is there is not going to leave like a stain that can't get off and put it over your ears because so, I have a way of on your ears and I mix let me try to bring this over so you can see. this is the mixture it's supposed to have this consistency so remember to do it like that I hope it's focused enough you see yeah there you go so that's it so what I did this time was I did the red, the magenta, and then I add some of the adore inside of this to go to the roots. And then later on, we're going to add majority of this to the end of the hair. But stay tuned. So now I'm going to put my mask on because the smell of this is very potent. It's strong. It burns. And I don't like it. And remember to put on your gloves. So we're about to start adding this to my hair I think this is enough dye hopefully it's enough I might add a little bit more developer if you feel like it's not enough remember to add developer developer is what gives it more of the thickness so you can add as you go but don't make it watery keep it this consistency so I'll be right back when I'm about to start adding it to my hair so since we're here remember we're going to start at the back first and we're gonna do the roots because remember it's not the first time we're dyeing our hair we're just re-dyeing it so we gotta start at the roots so i'm gonna start at the back so you guys can see
So guys, I had finished putting the dye in my hair. I put on this cap. I let my timer on for 30 minutes for the roots. And then after 30 minutes is up, I'm gonna wash it out. And then I'm gonna come back with my hair damp and then add the Adore dye to the ends of the hair to give it back that vibrant color. So my timer is down to a minute now. See, a couple seconds. So I had to do it off camera, the rest of the hair. But once you're feeling like this warm heat, you just know like it's doing what it's supposed to do. So I always um, advise to keep it in for like 30 to 40 minutes. But I tried 30 minutes because it's not my first time doing it. And you don't wanna damage your hair. So I'll be back when I wash it out and then have to distribute the dye to the end of my hair. So I just washed the dye out after some minutes. So you see the end of the hair now. This is where the adore comes in. You're going to add this to the end of the hair to give it back that vibrant color that it was missing. How I do this is you literally put your hair up in one like this, and you just add the color to it. Just like that. And just let it seep in because you need 
the ends of your hair to have the color so it's not like too bright or anything of that sort some people you can do it like this but i rather just cut it up in one just do it that way so. And then you're just gonna put it back into a what you call that thing? Okay. Shall we get? Clip it. And then you're gonna put the shower cap on. That's the brand new one. Let's get it in this. And you're just gonna leave this in for 10 to 20 minutes, literally. And then you wash it out. And, that's, and this is basically how I achieve the color. I might have to wait until the ends are dry for you guys to see. But from here you can tell that it's more vibrant than how it was earlier. So I just gotta dry it. I'm gonna wrap my hair overnight so it can dry and that's about it so when it's dry and stuff I'm gonna comb it out so you guys can see Remember to put products in your hair to help it stay hydrated because with all this chemical, it will dry your hair out. Mm, that's about it. So I'll be back to show you guys when it dries, what it looks like. So this is what the hair looks like. I wrapped it last night and I'm about to comb it out and see what the color actually looks like so i'm gonna blow it out and then i'll come back but this is the color for you guys red and vibrant looks healthy 